In the last video, we established that health is really what we're after. We want to maintain our health if we have it. We want to regain it if we lost it and possibly do something preventative. So there are other things we need as well, but health is really the bottom line. We also need, we know that sufficient income to live out our dreams and abundant living is not only about money and work, is it? So we, as I said last time, our physical and mental performance, very important. What's just as important? Well, the ability to have fun. Can you have fun if you're ill? Not really. The ability to enjoy life generally, maybe to travel, to enjoy good food, enjoy good scenery, whatever it might be. The ability to have a satisfying lifestyle is important. And that's again where we think about moderation. We want the ability to spend time with our loved ones. And it may be grandchildren, it may be our partners, it may be relatives or friends. And we want the ability to pursue our ideals, our dreams, our purpose, our passion. And for all that, we need health. We need health as a prerequisite. So, do we have the capacity for all this? Yes, our body has it. Everything I mentioned so far is actually inside the body already. Not in some airy-fairy way, but the body is an amazing, complex biological system that runs itself pretty well, if unable to do so. But we need to discover what is the good stuff. We don't throw in diesel in a petrol car either. And yet we do that food-wise. We have to take on the responsibility for our own health. And that holds for me as it holds for you. So my sort of um, petition is really, we should move from sickness management to real health care in the true sense of the word. So if this body of ours is a self-healing, optimizing, self-regulating entity, why does it get out of whack? Yes, it's that key word again, lifestyle, the wrong lifestyle. So we have to uh, sort of understand the fundamentals, make sense of it. And we need our health, as we said, and prevention, not getting hurt, are very basic. There's some things, of course, that you cannot avoid if you have an accident. Or we were all born with a certain genetic setup that we cannot change at least not at the moment so far. So, often in life, it is really just the most basic stuff that is missing in our lives and we contract these elements. Now, what could these basics be like? Well, you've got to respect and obey physical laws. If you jump off a five meter high wall, you will get hurt. Respect other people. And that has to do with a moral law. Like it or not, if you are religious or not, it doesn't matter. What turns around, comes around. And if you misbehave to others, it'll come back to you sometime. Respect yourself. Don't have a bad self-image. Don't see yourself as a victim. Be inquisitive. Be positive. Be humble. Be fun-loving, full of joy and laughter. And lead, again, here's the word, a reasonable lifestyle. A balanced lifestyle. Never has so much money been spent on medical technology, on hospital care, on medicines, facilities, prevention even, in terms of medication. Yet never have there been so many people seriously ill, suffering debilitating ailments, much of it chronic, and the quality of life is extremely poor for many sick people. So the question is really, do you rely on good health care? with your own responsibility or sickness management. Sickness management, as the word implies, is you stay sick, it's just managed. Healthcare means we have a look how we can prevent you getting ill and maintain health and regain health. Thank you.